everybody and today in the world of destiny is inferno day for those of you that are not aware there is a brand new playlist in the crucible and it is called inferno so in this video i'm going to be telling you guys exactly what is different in the inferno playlist and i'm going to be telling you my overall opinion of the game type so far i've logged in a decent amount of time because i actually woke up today and didn't just go back to sleep i usually wake up at like 3 or 4 p.m but i decided to wake up and play some Inferno. So first to kick things off, what exactly is different about Inferno? So as it stands right now, it is Control. So Control plays the exact same way. There's three flags, nothing's changed in terms of that. But you do not have a radar. So you can't see people on the map. You can't see where your teammates are. You probably have to rely on the visuals of what's going on on the screen, not the radar. And you have to rely on sound. Now the next thing that's different is you capture points way 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 faster like way faster and the reason for this is because you don't have this radar so you can't see where enemies are coming at you from so you are at risk when you're taking that point you are in the middle usually in the middle of freaking nowhere in the middle of the open water battlefield <laughs> So it's very easy for you to die. So you do capture points a lot faster because you are taking a bigger risk due to the fact that you do not know where anyone is at all. You don't even know where your teammates are. Your teammates could be coming to help you. They could be on the other side of the map. Who freaking knows? So you do capture a lot faster. And the last thing that is different is that scoring has been simplified. So from what I can tell by playing and just watching the gameplay back, you don't have any of the extra like plus 25 or plus 50. So you don't get extra points for headshots. You don't get extra points for super kills or grenade kills or melee kills. None of that stuff. It's very simple. You just get 100 points for a kill no matter how you get that kill and then you also get points for capturing a flag so you don't get assist points or anything like that anymore it's very simple you get points when you capture you get points when you kill but besides that it's totally the same. <laughs> now when I first heard about Inferno, I wasn't that excited because it just sounded like a hardcore mode to me. And I've never been a fan of hardcore modes because they tended to play really, really, really slow and really campy. But what they did in Destiny and what actually made me kind of look forward to playing it is that first of all, it was control. So it wasn't like clash and people can just sit in corners. There is an actual objective that you have to move around to get. And also there's no increase in damage. In in a lot of modes that are similar to Inferno, like Hardcore in Call of Duty or whatever, you do increase damage. So that further makes people want to play slower and more campy because you die faster and because you don't have a radar and you just have to be more careful in general. But the way that they have done Inferno in Destiny is really good and I actually really enjoy it. Now I'm someone that relies on my radar heavily like i rarely ever look at my screen <laughs> but i didn't find that that affected my performance i probably get less kills just because i don't know exactly where everyone is i have a good idea of spawns and, and traffic and where people like to go so my performance is basically the same but i probably get less kills i'm not dropping like 40 kills a game or anything like that i was getting more like 25 or 30 ish something around those marks so it does lower how many kills I get because I can't just run around and be like, oh, there's red over there, let's go over there. You have to actually look and pay attention to find the kills. But I didn't find this an issue. I found that I was paying way more attention to the sound. Now I've always paid attention to sound like, oh my God, there's a golden gun coming from that direction. I'm gonna run this way or whatever. But I was finding that I was just paying way more attention to the sound because I didn't have the radar. And although I was listening to the sounds of Destiny before, I didn't really have to rely on it because the radar was basically doing everything for me. But now I'll hear like a Titan shoulder charge or something and I'm like, wait a minute, we don't have any Titans on our team. <laughs> He's behind me. Or I'll hear like a Warlock gliding or something and I'll be like, wait a minute, let me just check behind me. Because although it could be my teammate, it's possible that it's not my teammate. So I'm just paying more attention to sounds, which I actually really like. I'm really enjoying Inferno. And I honestly didn't think I would enjoy it, but everyone is playing really aggressively. There's no one camping. I haven't come across any camping team at all. If anything, it's made people be more aggressive because they can run around and people can't see them on the radar. They don't have to like crouch. You don't have to worry about crouching or sliding to get to places and sneak up on people. You can just do that by running around because there's no radar. And I really, really, 
really have been enjoying that. So there's a lot of things that happen that you don't expect to happen. Like Arcblade is way better in Inferno because usually people will see you coming and they'll be able to kill you very, very easily. I'm sure there's still people that think Arcblade is overpowered. You guys are insane. It literally takes one shotgun shot and a melee to kill an Arcblader. So you're doing something wrong, but it just makes it a lot easier to creep up on people. Flanking is super easy and awesome. So it just adds kind of a new flavor to things. <laughs> Probably a really bad way to describe it, but it just adds something a little bit new, a little bit fresh. You can flank, you don't have to worry about crouching. Some supers are better because they can't see you coming from a mile away, and I'm just really enjoying it. So if you have managed to play some Inferno so far, let me know in the comments section what you think about it, and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye!